Okay. Alrighty, been putting off this very large task for a very long time. <laughs> Hi, welcome back. My name is Lindsay Heather Pierce. I'm a performer in the New York area. I'm currently playing Rose Whip Bucator in Titanic Off Broadway at the Darrow Off Theater down by Union Square. Um, but today has really nothing to do with performing. <laughs> Well, I mean, maybe. Uh, my daily life, my, the performance of my day, forget it. Um, I, I have been wanting to do a closet clean out for a while. Um, I was, uh, I moved to New York in 2020 uh, to rehearse uh, and, and make my Broadway debut playing Alpha Bun Wicked at the Gershwin Theater uh, in New York. I think I said New York already. Duh. Um, but, I moved, I moved here with like two big suitcases, a tiny suitcase and like a big carry-on. Um, and then uh, the pandemic hit and I was living in Southern California. And before, before I had gone to New York, I had been doing a ship job for almost an entire year. Um, so a lot of my clothes either are in my parents' house in Northern California in storage or they're here with me. Um, they've been sent home on tour when the weather would change, or if I uh, realized I had too much, too many clothes, things that didn't necessarily serve me, things I didn't need. Um, so I, I kind of, I like know what I have, but I also don't know what I have. Um, and my closet just feels really cluttered and the weather is beginning to change here on the east coast we have the next like three days i think we have uh, like a heat wave happening it's been kind of in the 60s it's been raining it's felt a lot like the pacific northwest for a couple days gloomy 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 but now we have these sunny days so it's kind of the last hurrah possibly the last hurrah who's to say the last hurrah of kind of the warmer weather clothes and then um, in, you know, gotta get the coats out, the longer sleeved shirts, the turtlenecks, and I still only have some of my actual closet here. So I figured now, you know, no time like the present to start trying things on, seeing if things fit, uh, too big, too small, if things don't feel like me anymore. Um, and I'm either going to donate what I don't keep, if, if I even like these things on me anymore, they don't feel like me. Um, and I'm gonna either, you know, donate what uh, it needs to be donated and then probably just upload it to my Poshmark. Uh, so, you know, if you see anything you like and I'm putting it and I don't wanna keep it, there's gonna be a link below. Um, I'm currently just, I'm just in a pair of shorts. I have a a black pair of underwear underneath and I have a black bra. I think I'm just gonna use these basics to kind of put things on and just change in and out really fast. Without further ado, probably just gonna put some music over this and you can watch me uh, figure out the cloths of my life. <laughs> Great, let's do it. <laughs> This is one that I got while on tour. I was in Appleton, Wisconsin. It was at a thrift store. Um, I, f I think I've posted me wearing this on my Instagram a few times. This thing is so bloody cool. I just never wear it, but it's like an art piece. And I just, I just don't know if I can give it up. It's so bomb. It like, come on, this is, this is sick. I think I gotta keep it. I think I have to figure out how to wear this and how to love it. I have to, I have to try, to try. I think, does anybody else have this issue with overalls where 
Um, the straps are just always too long. Uh, I've just never really found overalls that have made me go, oh. I have a great big pair, and they're supposed to be kind of like big and chunky. But they just always end up like hanging like this, and I don't love it. Um, and I also don't love this bit. I don't like that it fans out like this. I just think it would look better on somebody else's body. I don't know. Um, I've never really given it a, a real go, but I just don't, I don't think she's meant to be mine, so. Poshmark item number one. Okay, we're down to underpants for this one. Uh, this I got a little while ago, still has tags on it. I love it because it's fuzzy and fabulous. I just don't think it, I don't think it uh, looks as good on my body and my, my body shape as, as it could on someone else. I love the idea of it. I just don't really know if it like is is the dress for my body. I don't know if this is my dress. <laughs> or if it would look better on somebody else. This bad boy is a autumn season favorite. Why am I stepping into it when I can just <laughs> put it on? Uh, I've worn this many a time. I love her. She can stay, I think. She's just such a favorite of mine. I love this dress. It buttons all the way down. Looks so good with layers. Got this in Alaska while I was on that cruise ship I was talking about. Now this girl right here is a lovely dress. I've only worn a few times. This was sent to, be, sent to me by my friend, uh, Carrie Hope Fletcher. She had done a collaboration with a brand called Joni. Um, and it's a gorgeous dress. I just never wear it. So I wonder if this is just a reminder that I need to wear this dress because there's nothing wrong with it. It's gorgeous. It checks off all the boxes. I think I just need to be reminded that I have beautiful clothes and that I'm allowed to wear them. Anybody else get clothes and then they're like, I shouldn't wear that? I do it all the time. This is a free people dress that I have worn never. I have literally never worn this dress myself. Once upon a time, this used to really be my style. It ties in the back. Um, it just does not hit my sh like my uh, neckline the way that I would want. I wouldn't want to wear a bra with this. Um, even even like a textured lacy bra. It ties in the back, so it has a beautiful uh, connect. I'll tie I'll tie like I'll hold it in the front, but the tie in the back also creates kind of a weird shape on me. And I just don't um I don't feel in love when I put it on. So I think I'm gonna sell this. Now, this dress was given to me by my good girl, Emily Martinez. I always loved this dress. It's a great little gown. It's very, um, very Audrey Hepburn-esque. But there's, you know, sometimes you just need to have the option of a nice black dress. Um, I just don't know if she's for me. Uh, this girly. This has been a tried and true dress for a long while now. It's a wrap dress. It's lovely, it's gorgeous. Um, this is not how you wrap it, but I love it, or, or I have loved it. Um, it just is not me anymore, I'm sad to say. I do not feel <gasps> when I put it on. So I'm gonna sell it. It's gorgeous, it's, it's in beautiful condition, it's silky, I think it's satin. Now this dress was uh, a dress that I actually accidentally bought from my friend Emily's Poshmark. I didn't even realize I was on her Poshmark um, when I bought it. I've worn it twice, I think. 
Um, it's anthropology. It's stunning. It's so fun. It's so autumnal. I've just never really given her the time, um, the time of day that she would need. I've never really had an, had an occasion to wear this dress. Um, but now I'm kind of in a season of my life where I'm like, do I need occasions to wear things? Okay, now these three dresses I got at a thrift store and they're just kind of like, they're almost like slip dresses, the way that they're styled, the, the way that they feel. Um, they're gorgeous. They've got all this really lovely, these lovely, like almost paisley patterns. Um, very autumnal. I just kind of, I think when I put them on, I really wanted them to have slits. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Like, I feel like the only way to enjoy these dresses would be to belt them and then maybe like sweater, put things on top. What are your thoughts? They, they literally all fit the same way. Um, it's just kind of like pick your pattern, you know? I'm not totally sure. I'm not sure about them. But again, I haven't given them the chance because I they sit in the back of my closet. <sighs> Sorry, it was intense. But they do, they sit in the back of my closet and they rot. <laughs> so, and then we've got our kind of like basic t-shirts. These are also uh, things I like to wear under sweaters in the colder months, um, just to keep my skin apart from uh, even the softest of fabrics can drive me nuts. So I just uh, have t-shirt options that prevent, I just feel like I have too many. I think that's my thing, but okay, now these, overalls I have tried to love. I had a pair on Poshmark that were like a pastel with like uh, styled paint splatters on them. Um, these are the same exact ones just in a like a washed black. I have tried, I have tried, I have tried. They just don't work on my body so and they're basically brand new. I think I've worn them two or three times. So these are going in the in the cell pile, we are getting into winter clothes. And these are all uh, shirts that I have not looked at in quite some time. Um, this is a wonderful, um, what is this called? <laughs> flannel, it's a great flannel. Um, I never wore it enough um, or styled it enough in any way to enjoy it um it's a great piece it's soft uh just not for me so this flannel is gonna go on uh on poshmark uh we've got turtlenecks aplenty turtlenecks at the wazoo uh, this is a hoodie that i got in cape town south africa um it's awesome, fits like a dream, really warm. Um, I never wear it. As wonderful as the memories of this are, I mean, it's a great hoodie, it fits like a dream. I just never wear it. Um, but it's a cool piece. It's from Cape Town. Um, and I know there's a lot of people out there that love like a graphic pullover hoodie, so that's getting sold all of my Mean Girls merch. Now this I got forever ago. It's from Fabletics. It's velvet and it's lovely. I know that this is not giving the best representation because I currently have a bra on underneath. I'm literally never gonna wear this. It's brand new. I've never worn it once. Didn't have the guts to return it. So this gold velour. Um, girly, she's gonna go. I'm going to Poshmark. Okay, I have barely made a dent. This is a fun jacket. I just never wear it. I never wear it. It's a great length. It's got frills. Um, this is just not me. I bought it on a whim. I liked it in the moment. I no longer like it. I think I've worn it twice. <laughs> Ever. 
that, so she's gonna go on brush work, but she's fun, she's flirty, she's a good time, and she will be a good time for someone else. I love these turtlenecky tops. They've got a really cool like eye hole in the chest. Um, I just know for a fact that I'm never gonna wear these because it's just not my style anymore, but they're great. They're ribbed, barely worn them. Um, I have one in black. We're gonna be brutal now. This is a great top that I uh, never really go for because at this style um, and this uh, kind of like highlighter neon color palette is not really me. Um, I love the purple. Love the purple. That's the royal. The royal purple of it all is great. It's mesh. It's lovely. It's. I've literally never worn this. She's gonna make someone else very happy. On to the Poshmark it goes. Okay, now this skirt is in practically vintage now. It's an H and M. I got yeah. I got this at H and M. I do believe. Um, it's corduroy and it's lovely great skirt it goes to about right here on the shin it's gorgeous it's a small waist which I appreciate um, but the color it's not the right it's not the right color for me I need a darker red this is gonna wash me out so we're pulling the plug she is <gasps> if I don't die first. She is going on the push mark. Okay. Now this is a great sweater. Um, however, my dream for this sweater was to always uh, wear it with a skirt, um, a dress where it would hang here-ish. That dream it was never truly actualized, ever. Um, and with my height and where it falls, it's so soft. Giving this up feels like a crime. It's so soft. Very soft, I think this is American Eagle. Yeah, so soft, so soft. It's like a, t it's like a teddy bear, but she's gotta go. She's gotta go. Okay, now these have also never been worn. You can see they're gorgeous. Um, these are pleather pants. They're stretchy, they're great. They're too big for me. Uh, they're Fabletics. Um, literally not, not a scratch on them. They're gorgeous, great for a night out. They're going on the Poshmark because I'm never gonna wear them. I don't know who I thought I was when I bought them. Leather pants are simply not my thing. They're not my thing. <laughs> They're just simply not my thing. But, uh, these are bell bottoms. I haven't put them up yet, but I've already begun to kind of cut away. These are great. Um, There's not, they're not for me. Gorgeous pieces. I wore this um, uh, a couple winters ago with a big belt and um, a blouse underneath um, in some autumnal photos that my friend Scott Logan took of me. It's just it's just too big. I don't have the the uh, the bust um, or the shoulder width to withstand this piece. Um, yeah, free people. It's like a slip dress. It's gorgeous. I uh, it just doesn't fit me. And, um, and it's gonna, why on earth would I keep something that I'm like, eh, about when this could be someone else's favorite piece of clothing? Do you know what I mean? I just found um, these awesome, they're like legging pants. They're slightly flared at the bottom. They're very uh, like academia-esque. They are both Zara, they're awesome. Uh, they just don't fit me. They're a little too small in certain spots. Uh, they just don't look good enough on me to want to keep them, but they're really great. They've got this, this one has like a zipper 
flare at the bottom, which makes it flare out, which is really cute when you wear them with like docks or a, like a cool pair of sneakers. Looks awesome with a dark coat, turtleneck. I mean, it is vibes, vibes, vibes. And then this one is a uh, no zipper, just open flare and like a, like a, I don't really know if it's reading as gray as it is. It's like a gray and a very, very uh, gray brown uh, cheetah print. And they're awesome, they're barely worn. Um, I think I've worn each of these once. And they're great. And they're gonna, someone else is gonna love them. They're going on Poshmark. I do believe there's more that I have in storage in the back of my closet, but for now, that's where I'm gonna cut it off so that I don't get overwhelmed and uh, avoid this project at all costs because when I get overwhelmed, um, I like to shut down and do something else that I'm passionate about because that's just the way my brain works. If I don't have um, immediate plug-in, I'm not gonna do it. So we're gonna stop here. That is really it. You know, I'm getting older. My, my tastes are beginning to change and I, I'm finding that I just want things to be easier overall. I just wanna be able to put things on, enjoy them, and not stress about it. And not stress that I'm neglecting things that I've spent money on or that people have given me. Because that's, the latter of that is <laughs> people pleasing. But uh, that's all I've got for now. And thanks for hanging out with me. And uh, I'm gonna sit in some of this rainbow for a bit. <laughs> Cause it's Monday, it's my day off. And I am gonna relax now. Love you, Mina. Talk to you soon. Bye.